What's happening, fight fans, and welcome to another edition of The Fight Room. I am your host, O Nice, and welcome. Now, let's talk about this fight coming up tomorrow night. Deontay Wilder versus Berman Stavern, part two. Now, we know that they fought before. Deontay Wilder coming up with the victory by unanimous decision. Um, let's talk about this fight. Uh, I believe uh, this fight will be the same result. Uh, it might be a quicker night. Uh, Deontay Wilder um, has gotten personal, man. It's really gotten personal. I see how uh, Stavern was just assaulting the guy, so to speak, saying that he doesn't care if he kills him in the ring. Uh, I know that fueled Deontay Wilder. I could just tell. I know I seen the press conference and I seen Deontay Wilder just there smiling, laughing, and staring at him, actually. But I could tell after that that it was, it was fuming inside of him. He couldn't even stop uh, talking during the press conference when they gave him the mic. It was just in him. And uh, I can't discredit him for the way he felt. Uh, a man telling him that uh, he doesn't care if he kills him in the ring would obviously be uh, quite upsetting. Deontay uh, promising a knockout come Saturday night. Um, it's going to be a hellacious war, I think. This time is going to be probably more of a better fight than the first one. The first one was a pretty uh, good fight. Uh, now let's talk about how each man could win the fight. First, Berman Stavern. Uh, he weighed at 254.3 pounds, former WBC champion. And uh, the way he can... Uh, probably overcome Deontay Wilder Saturday night he does have a tough chin um, he does good effective uh, combinations I've seen them throw pretty good combinations if he can maneuver the ring uh, stand his ground throw effective combinations throw uh, effective jabs and keep around the ring keep away Deontay Wilder's right hand that's the only way he might be able to pull it off. Now, let's talk about how Deontay Wilder can become victorious. He needs to use his distance, keep his distance, keep jabbing, do effective counterpunching. The thing that I've noticed about Deontay Wilder in the first fight, and of course a lot of his fights is that when he uh, intends to hurt the man, he catches the guy and starts to throw wildly. Now, that could be a dangerous situation for him because he does tend to stay open as he throws wildly and he can get caught and that's a, a something that he needs to work on and needs to improve in now as far as him throwing combinations what he needs to do in this fight when he catches the Vern and hurts the Vern, uh he needs to set up the right hand and he also needs to set up an uppercut I've seen openings with Stavern in the first fight where he was open enough that uh, Deontay Wilder was able to uh, throw the uppercut. If he uses the uppercut, uh, it might be a uh, night's out for Stavern. Uh, who knows? Uh, he needs to set it up, uh, keep his jab, like I said, man, and maintain the fight. And he should be able to pull it out that night. Could it be by knockout? Who knows? Uh, the fire in him definitely looks like he wants to uh, pull it off by knockout. Um, also, Stavern, the challenger, wants to pull it off by knockout. So let's see what happens uh, come Saturday night, man. This is your boy O Nice from the Fight Room TV. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.